Let's go. Let's go. Now, this I will shout out to any Mpango Wakandos because this story is specifically for you. <laughs> so there has been a groundbreaking case where a man has been ordered to pay bride price in seven days. Now the story goes, um, a young 18-year-old girl and escaped home, escaped, eloped, and left home. And after her father searching for her for, I don't know, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, she was found to be staying in her man's home as man and wife. And now they have been together for about 10 years and they, no, not 10 years, but they've been together for quite a long time and they are living as husband and wife and they mm -hmm. have got two children. So the father has gone to court to sue her husband Mm -hmm. to pay bride price. And now this comes because he had said that he would pay bride price of two goats, mm -hmm. but he did not, he did not, he did not, deliver he did not it. deliver. So she was taken to court, he was sued, and he was demanded that he has to pay a hefty sum, I guess. <laughs> yes, so the bride price includes 10 heads of cattle, two goats, 10,000 Kenyan shillings, two blankets, one coat, and a godfather hat and gum boots. Uh, my daughter, who is now 23 years old, she disappeared from home only to be discovered that she was staying with Sifuna, I'm assuming the husband. This is after I searched for her everywhere, Mr. Simuyu told the court. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting <laughs> that the, the girl just like ran away and was just like, sure, you don't have to pay my father. I guess like F my family and everything. Yeah. It's just amazing that she was willing to cut complete ties with her family. Yeah. yeah. It's just... Wild to me. Um, I mean, first of all, bride price is not paid everywhere because people don't even it's acknowledge. Cultural... People don't. Yeah. No, as in here, even here, people who are who know that you should pay bride price, they don't always because mm -hmm. you need to go and acknowledge that you would like to be my husband. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So a lot of the situations which you see tends to be the the come we stay. Mm -hmm. I guess is what mm -hmm. it is. It's like mm -hmm. it's cohabitation, mm -hmm. and yeah. that and it just ends there. Yeah. You know, so and a lot of people live like that. It's not abnormal at all. Like no. I know plenty of people who are just cohabiting in that area. Yeah. So to mm -hmm. find that you are being compelled to pay bride price is just I don't know. Everyone now, you just gotta be careful. You never know where someone's gonna come from, and maybe your in-law is going to tell you. <laughs> you know, I think that's enough time with my daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. About pay up. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my my lawyer hat on and say Do like it. you know Will bride it fit price. On the hair yeah, it, it might it might fit <laughs> on you know. But like, see, it's kind of like a contractual agreement, like. Uh -huh. Before, like a lot of bride fights and everything, like you, like me and my mom, she was showing me how, like you know, back in the day between like her and my dad and everything, they actually like he wrote down like on a piece of paper, I'm gonna do this and this and this, gonna be this many cows, this many whatever, whatever. He signed his signature. There was a witness. There was all of that. Yeah. So technically, if you refuse to pay, then yeah. they can go to court and mm -hmm. sue him, and he has to pay. Yeah, you know, like guys take it so seriously, and like nowadays, so like make sure that you know you ladies out there get it on paper, mm -hmm. get yeah. it in writing, mm -hmm. make sure these men don't go out without you know paying your bride. Price. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, like, <laughs> ladies, know your worth, right? Yeah. Because even how it was done with me, and obviously we're an intercultural marriage, yeah. I didn't necessarily see it as a bride price, like, okay, my husband is buying me. It's an appreciation of culture, an appreciation of knowing that I'm stepping into his family's family. Mm -hmm. So even if it's like, you know, obviously two Kenyans getting married, you, you understand and you appreciate the cultural background, because obviously even though we're a new generation, yeah. you want to appreciate the generations that came before you, you sure. know? It's, it's not like they're encouraging circumcision. Obviously, if they did encourage that, ladies run away. <laughs> but this is an appreciation kind of thing. I yeah. can't wait to, to get to the point where it's, you know, all that rush, mm -hmm. all the things like yeah. that. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait. However, but I mean, isn't it like what, if you're calling it what it is, it's you said let's call it. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't yeah. it simply yeah. like you said you'd pay me 10 bob for this phone. You have to and pay. if you don't, you need to pay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't so think it's phone. But a deal, a deal is a deal. A deal is a deal at the end of the day. No, I mean, but we, we, are, we are the exchange. The issue is not about a deal. It's you're like saying that you feel as if you're being bought. Yeah. No, I don't feel that. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying to, you know, yeah, 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 the yeah. works here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But isn't it the case though? Isn't it like my it phone, is. you're buying my phone and yeah. you need to pay. Yeah. You know, so are we phones? It's interesting, <laughs> but it's interesting how you bring it up, yeah? Because you could literally argue this discussion on so many different platforms. Mm -hmm. Because then you talk about the sanctity of marriage. Mm -hmm. Because then it goes into like, okay, so if I'm just being bought and I'm just an item, mm -hmm. is marriage really, you know, sanctified? Is it really that big of a deal? Because at the end of the day, marriage really is for 
for tax purposes. Mm -hmm. Marriage really is a contract. Right. You know, we've decided. The romance. Yeah, we've, <laughs> we've, we've decided romance at the end of the day, we've decided that it has to mean something under God when mm -hmm. it really doesn't, you guys. It yeah. started under tax. Mm -hmm. But maybe I'm just a little bit of a pessimist, which is <laughs> ironic because I'm the married one at the table. Yeah, But yeah. I could be with my husband, married or not. I don't have a big diamond. I'm with him either way. It doesn't have to be about money. Let's